Good evening, and welcome to Virginia Rep's Bedtime Stories. Ah, oh, bedtime stories. They are magical, aren't they? So I'm going to open this book, and if you're ready, and I know I'm ready, let's see what we find. Tonight's story is Jorinda and Jorindel, as told by Desiree Dabney. children. Well, since you're here, I guess I'll, I guess I'll tell you a story, okay? A long old fairy tale starring someone very famous. Hmm. This fairy tale is called Jorinda and Jorindel. Jorinda and Jorindale. There once was an old castle that stood in the middle of a deep, gloomy wood, and in the castle lived an old fairy. An old fairy? I was never that old. <clears throat> Now, this fairy could take shape with anything that she pleased. All day long, she flew in the form of an owl or crept about the country like a cat. But at night, she was always an old woman. <laughs> I was never that old. Hmm. When any young man came within a hundred paces of her castle, they would freeze or turn into stone. But when any pretty maiden came to the castle, they began to sing a song. And after they sang a song, they turned into the fairy's favorite, favorite animal, a bird. And she would capture the bird and leave the bird in her castle in a cage. Now this fairy is evil. <laughs> Very evil. <laughs> now there was a once was a maiden named Jorinda and her husband Jorindel, and one day they were going down the castle and they stopped. Jorindel knew that castle. He's seen and, and heard stories before. Jorinda, a beautiful maiden, she wanted to sing songs. Jorindel knew that if he got close to the castle, he would turn into stone and he would never see his beautiful Jorinda again. But Jorinda didn't know what she was doing. She only wanted to sing. Oh, Jorinda sat down to gaze upon the sun. Jorindel sat right beside her, but he felt sad. He could see in her eyes that she was about to sing, and he knew that if she sang, she would turn into a bird. But at that point, he could not help her. And so, she sang the song. The ring to sing from the willow spring. He mourned for the fate of his darling maid. Well, a day, well, a day. 
all of a sudden, right after the song was sang, the fairy <laughs> poofed right then and there, right beside Jorinda, and turned her into a beautiful nightingale. Jorindel had nothing to say. He was almost stone. He was scared. What was going to happen next? The fairy captured Jorinda. Jorinda that evening was a bird and stayed in the castle in a cage. That evil fairy kept her for ages until one day Jorindel just had to save the day. <clears throat> Jorindel had to save his wife, but he knew that coming close to my castle, he would be ruined. Why? You're correct. Because men could not get close to the castle. They would turn into stone, frozen. So Jorindel went on a journey to find a magic flower. And with this magic flower, he knew that he could get as close to the castle as he could. And I have allergies. Anyway, so one evening, Jorindel crept close to the castle and the magic flower was working. Get closer and closer and closer. He was so close to the castle that soon he was at the front door. What was going to happen next? I didn't hear him come in, actually. Now that I think of it, okay. So. Jorindel comes into my castle. And all of a sudden, the birds start singing. And they were singing and singing, and they didn't stop singing. All the songs were almost the same until he got to one nightingale and her song was different. He knew that was Jorinda. He took the magic flower close to the cage. He put the magic flower close to the cage and the cage opened up. The nightingale flew out the cage and landed on the castle floor. Once she was on the castle floor, the flower poofed and Jorinda was now the young, beautiful maiden she was. Now at this point, I was very angry. Very, very angry. And I rushed down to Jorindel and all of a sudden he put that magic flower in my face. Doesn't he know that I am allergic to flowers? <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I had to run away. It wasn't really running away. I melted. I was done. Poof. My career was over because of one magic flower and that Jorindel and Jorinda. <sighs> it's okay. Now that I'm a thousand and two years old, that's five, I think. But that was the last time I was in the castle. And that was also the last time that I saw Jorinda and Jorindale. But there is a rumor that Jorinda started a beautiful choir and Jorindale now sells flowers. They can thank me. They could have sent a card or something. <sighs> Alas.
Alas, that is a story of Jorinda and Jorindale. Now, I told you I was famous. I was around for a lot of fairy tales. The Princess and the Frog, Hansel and Gretel. Oh, oh, Huntsback and Notre Dame. Oh, oh, that egg that sat on the wall, then he fell. Oh, no. Poor thing. He was an omelet. <laughs> okay. All right, well, I have to figure out how to speak to the Mara again. It's past my bedtime. All right. Ta-ta! Hi, guys. My name is Miss Desiree, and I'm going to read you a classic fairy tale called Jorinda and Jorindel. What? You, you already heard the story? Oh, no. Let me guess, the evil old fairy who's a thousand and two years old. Oh, I am so sorry, guys. She escaped from a storybook. I can't get her back in there. And now she is just roaming all over the place. It's hard, okay? It's hard to catch somebody who is a thousand and two years old. Anyway, since you have already heard the story of Jorinda and Jorindel, do you think I can ask you a couple questions and then challenge you to a fairy tale challenge? Okay. All right. So, first question What is the evil fairy's favorite animal that she turns beautiful maidens into? You are correct. It is a bird or a nightingale, right? Because Jorinda, she got close to the castle. She heard the song. She sang the song. And then she was a bird. Captured. Gone. Oh, okay. Anyway, so second question. What did Jorindel use to defeat the evil old fairy? You are correct. He had a magic flower. And get this, she is allergic to flowers. And yet I still can't capture her. That's okay. I'm waiting until she gets close to me because guess what? <laughs> They're waiting. Third question. There is one word that the fairy does not like to be called. Is it owl, cat, or old? You are correct. It is old because she's a thousand and two. <laughs> All right, so you did amazing with those questions. So I guess she told the story pretty well. Oh, right, and she was funny? She didn't look a thousand and two? Oh, no. You know what that means, right? That she ran into the book of Rapunzel. I'm so, I should probably watch Tangled again to see if I can see her. Oh, no. Okay, guys, here's my fairy tale challenge for you. You have a beautiful imagination and you can create a character of your own. You can create your own fairy tale. So I challenge you to create your own fairy tale with costumes. Anybody can be your audience and just have fun. My next challenge for you is to pick up a crown, pick up a colored pencil, a gel pen, a pen, anything, and create a picture for Jorinda and Jorindel. It could be a beautiful nightingale, an old fairy. It could be a beautiful castle. But think about the story and what happened in Jorinda and Jorindel and create your own picture. 
All right, guys, again, my name is Miss Desiree, and I am on the hunt for that evil fairy. Bye, guys. Well, wasn't that a great story? You know, fairy tales truly are magical. So why don't you join me again next week when we open this book again. You never know what we might find. Until then. <laughs>